Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. The month of Ramadan is the month of change. Everything changed around us. The universe changed. The Prophet ﷺ said the gates of paradise will be widely opened. The gates of hellfire will be closed. And the leader of the, of the shayateen will be chained. This is the month where so many angels will be descending and coming down to the earth to witness the prayer, to witness the time of uh, suhoor in the end of the day, to witness the iftar, to make dua for the believers. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made this the month of change. There is great things happen. It's been reported that this is the month where Jesus was taken and risen to the heavens and saved from his enemy. It is also the day of the flood. Some of the scholars said in the time of Noah, some ulama said that this is the day Musa passed away. This is the month where the Quran was sent down. And this is the biggest tool of change, changing people. It is the month where so many great incidents took place. This is the month where the first major defeat happened to the people of Quraysh in the Battle of Badr. This is where the beginning of Ghazwat al Khanda, they start digging the trench around the Medina and later on the, 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 the battle took place. But also this is the month where the conquered of Mecca would just change the course of history, where the Prophet ﷺ entered Mecca and destroyed the, the idols around Mecca. This is the month where the Prophet ﷺ also, not only after he gained the respect and the power in Arabia, he even started being recognized by the other forces around Arabia. And this has happened in the Battle of Tabuk, uh, which took place in Ramadan as well. This is the month where Muslims have reached so many places in the world. This is the for first time the Muslim reached across the sea, the Mediterranean Sea, went to Andalus. So many things changed during the month of Ramadan. But I think the biggest question that not what have changed, what will change during this year? What will happen? What's the change that's going to take place? And it doesn't matter what kind of change will happen to everybody if there is no real change happen to you. Each and every one of us should ask, we should ask ourselves, what's the thing that happened this year to me? How I'm gonna change? How I'm gonna take advantage of this month to change myself? And I wanna give you one verse, which is Ibn Mas'ud radiallahu anhu arda, uh, 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 said that this is ahkam ayah fi kitab the most muhkam verse in the Quran. And muhkam, it means it is explicit, never been abrogated, it's very great wisdoms. And even a man, when he heard this verse from the Prophet he said, Ya Rasulullah, I don't need to learn anything from the Quran after I learn this verse. The Nabi Sallallahu called it ayatun fadhatun jami'ah, or fadhatun jami'ah. It is a unique, inclusive verse. It is in Surah Al-Zalzal where Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala said, وَمَنْ يَعْمَلْ مِثْقَالَ ذَرَّةٍ خَيْرًا يَرَى if you do good, one good uh, deed, even if it's the weight of atom, dharra, or some ulama said the head of a small ant, you will see it. This verse, it has many benefits we can learn from it. But one of the points that I, I, I intentionally brought this ayah uh, here in this uh, topic for, is to understand that change happens with small things. The more you do these small things, the more you will change yourself. You know, change mutually doesn't happen by taking this huge major steps and dramatic st change in your life. It's these little things that you do. That's why the Quran emphasizes uh, uh, on the importance of not underestimating the, or belittling the little good deeds, the little steps that we take. The Prophet ﷺ said, Don't underestimate the power of any good deeds, even if you smile at your brother. So what I want you to do, what I want us to do this month, inshallah ta'ala, to focus on doing as many good deeds as we can. Even these little small things, you know, reaching out to someone, giving your parking spot to an older gentleman or a, or a family to let them park in your parking spot in the, in the masjid. Helping the volunteer in the masjid serving food. Cleaning after the iftar. Helping uh, someone in learning uh, Quran. You know, remind a buddy with someone to help one another to know the adhkam. Even if it's one line, one verse, uh, uh, small steps will help you to change. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make this the most blessings month to all of us. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.